Tanya Van Kulenborg, 18, and Jay Cook, 20, Snohomish County Sheriff's Office, arrest made in 1987 double homicide cold case Dean James III, percent right-wing Tribune, Everett, Washington. Detectives from the Snohomish County and Skagit County Sheriff's offices arrested a 55-year-old SeaTac Washington man for the November 1987 murder of 20-year-old Jay Cook and 18-year-old Tanya Van Kulenborg. William Earl Talbot II was taken into custody without incident at 6 p.m., Thursday, May 17, 2018, in Seattle. He has been booked into the Snohomish County Jail on one count of first-degree murder for the killing of Van Kulenborg on a warrant out of Skagit County. Screenshot Q13 Fox detectives continue to gather and process evidence and interview witnesses related to the investigation of Cook's murder. Because of this arrest, detectives are asking for people to come forward with information, specifically anyone who knew Talbot and knew of his activities in 1987 and 1988. He would have been 24 years old at the time of the murders, saw Talbot associated with the Cook family van C. Van Photo in November 1987. Saw Talbot with a 35mm Minolta camera, C. camera photo, that Tanya had in her possession when she was murdered. The camera's lens was recovered and traced to a pawn shop in Portland, Oregon in 1990, but the camera body is still missing, has information about Talbot having access to a light blue blanket, see blanket photo, or know where this type of blanket might have come from around the time the crimes were committed. Detectives believe Talbot was living in the Woodenville area in 1987, his parents' residence was approximately seven miles from where Cook's body was found. We never gave up hope that we would find Jay and Tanya's killer, said Snohomish County Sheriff Titrinery. Yesterday's arrest shows how powerful it can be to combine new DNA technology with the relentless determination of detectives. After 31 years, we are one step closer to justice, said Skagit County Sheriff Will Reichardt. We would not be here without the persistence of detectives in our office, and in Snohomish County, and without the invaluable support from Parabon. Talbot was identified as a suspect through the use of genetic genealogy, which is the use of DNA testing in combination with traditional genealogical methods to establish the relationship between an individual and their ancestors. Successful identification of Talbot was established with assistance from Parabon Nano Labs. Parabon, a DNA technology company in Virginia that performed genetic genealogy analysis for the case. A digital file containing DNA genotype data derived from evidence at the crime scene was uploaded to GetMatch, a public genetic genealogy website, and promising matches were found for two of the suspect's relatives. See Family Tree. After Parabon's genealogists deduced Talbot's identity, police subsequently acquired an abandoned DNA sample from a cup he had used. Washington State Patrol's crime lab confirmed that it positively matched the DNA profile from the crime scene evidence. This is the first arrest of a murder suspect using results from Parabon's genetic genealogy service which became generally available less than two weeks ago. We are honored to have helped solve this case, said Dr. Stephen Armand Trout, CEO of Parabon. He added, given the power of these new methods, we believe it is but the first of many. If you or anyone you know has information related to this case a suspect, please call the Snohomish County Sheriff's Office tip line 425-388-3845. Cook and Van Kulenborg planned to pick up a part for Cook's father and return to Canada the next day via I-5. They took the ferry from Victoria, B.C., Canada, to Port Angeles, arriving around 4 p.m. The last known whereabouts were when they purchased a ticket at 10.16 p.m. in Bremerton for the Seattle ferry. Neither Cook nor Van Kulenborg were seen or heard from again. On November 24, 1987, Tanya's partially clothed body was found in Skagit County in a ditch in a wooded area off Parsons Creek Road between Old Hoy 99 and Prairie Road. On November 25, 1987, Cook's van was located locked up and abandoned in a Blue Diamond parking lot near State and Holly Streets in Bellingham, Whatcom County. On November 26, 1987, Jay Cook's body was found in Snohomish County along Crescent Lake Road, near High Bridge Road, on the Snoqualmie River, which is approximately three-quarters of a mile west of the old Washington State reformatories on a farm near Monroe. Source, Skagit County Sheriff's Office God bless.
Dean James the third percent right-wing Tribune be sure to follow us on Nation in Distress and America's Freedom Fighters on Facebook.